I'm about to blow your mind with this super easy, beginner friendly, level one chef friendly tofu recipe for the crispiest, most delicious tofu you've ever had. Let's get right into it. We have our tofu. I always do extra firm just because I tend to like crispier, more hard tofu that has a nice bite to it. If you don't, like there is a variety of different tofus. I just use extra firm for this. We're gonna do two different routes. I'm gonna show you the current method I do, but before one, before I had a certain tool, I can, we'll go over like, if you don't have this, what you can do. So I like my tofu is like hard, not like a brick, but like you, if you know like good, hard, crispy tofu, I like it as crispy as possible. So I'm actually starting my tofu 24 hours before I plan on eating it. We will be making a stir fry with it. I'm also gonna be doing, this will be a three part series, how to make the perfect tofu, how to never go wrong with the perfect stir fry sauce and then how to make the easiest stir fry in the entire world. So this is part one. Definitely stick around, subscribe and like so that when those other two videos come out, you can watch them there. But without further ado, let's start our tofu. So I'm starting this 24 hours beforehand. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to be pressing it and we're going to be pressing it to get out as much liquid as possible. So tofu comes in this little container, there's excess fluid. What we're gonna first start off with doing is like poking a hole in it and getting as much fluid out before we even press it. So let's do that. <laughs> All right, relax, everyone relax. Obviously we wanna dump this out in the sink, so let's head on over. Ignore this, I haven't done the dishes yet, okay? So all you do is poke a hole, Close a really long hole and then we're just gonna let as much come out as possible. I kind of squeeze it. Try to change angles. Like if you like ever know you're getting the last thing out of a container, you know how like sometimes it gets caught in the cap or whatnot. Just change your angles so that you can get as much out as possible to save yourself some work with the pressing process. That's pretty good. So now we're gonna prep it for the pressing. So this is where you can go two different ways. I have a tofu press. This is Tofu Futures tofu press. This is not sponsored. If you want to sponsor me, would not be opposed, but I'm still gonna use you guys no matter what. Essentially what a tofu press is, is made of these different components. This is what's gonna collect all of your liquid. This is what we're gonna put the tofu in. So you can see it goes in this. And then this is what's going to be actually pressing down on the tofu. If you do not have this, you can make your own makeshift tofu press, which is what I did before I owned this. All I would do is I would get a little like, like some type of like pan or something to collect the fluid. Cause like you don't want to just press on like in your fridge or your counter, like it's, it's gonna make a mess. So just get something to hold it. I will then put down like my tofu and then I use like a really thin like tea towel, whatever towel you like to separate, put on top of the tofu in our makeshift tofu press. And a lot of people do like stock pots and top and whatnot, just something heavy to press down into it. So what I will do, pretend this doesn't have dirty dishes in it cause I haven't done the dishes yet. I like will put this down on top. So just imagine you have your little tray, tofu, make it thin, towel, and then pot on top. Very easy. All you need is something to collect the tofu liquid, something to separate, like keep your tofu clean, a rag or something, and then something heavy to press down on top of it. Whatever works, whatever you can find in your home, you can make it work. I, I think this was maybe like $14 or $16. I'm gonna include a link in the bio if you're interested in this. I eat tofu so much and I like, since I'm doing this overnight and I wanna keep my tofu easily in the fridge where we have like a half and half fridge, space is not something we have a ton of. So this is nice cause it's very compact. So all that said and done, let's get her ready. So we're gonna take her out. We've done our initial liquid removal. And now as you can see, this is what 
tofu looks like. Crazy. I'm gonna just like slowly turn this over. She's pretty moist, I can feel that. But I have my tofu and I'm just gonna plop her in. Yay. And then this is super easy. This is where the fun begins. So you put your press down. I like to press it a little bit. I can hear the liquid coming out down because pressing down a little bit makes it a little bit easier. Then we're gonna put our little straps down and this is what holds it into that press state. So typically I will do two different rounds of pressing. So from this standpoint, I'll put it on this like middle tier and then I'm going to let it press overnight in the morning before I go to work. I'm gonna empty out the liquid, I'll show you guys that. And then we'll pull it down to the third most intense tier. So we're just gonna put this down to the second one right now. One. And then we're gonna do the second side and pull it down to our second tier. And voila, so you can see it's pressing it right here on both of these different sides. And the final step is just kind of moving both of these clamps over for extra tension. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do first night before. Now it's gonna slowly be pressed overnight. And I'll show you guys what happens in the morning. So we'll see you in like 12 hours. And we put this in the fridge because we don't want this to spoil. Good morning, beautiful people. It has been about 12 hours-ish that our tofu has been pressing. So let's check it out. I'll show you guys how much liquid has come out. And then we're going to do our final press for the last like 10 hours or so. She's come down a considerable amount since last night. So we're just gonna open this up, take this little guy off. So we're gonna take out the tofu and then we're gonna dump out, look at all this liquid. I don't actually spill it. Can you see it? Can you see that? Okay, anyway, you'll, you'll just see how much comes out here. All right, ready for everything that's come out? All of that came out. So now we're just gonna put our tofu back in, put the press back on, and I'm gonna put it down now to the most intense pressing setting. still feel a little bit of the liquid. So we're gonna let this press all throughout the day and then well, for dinner tonight, she'll be nice and ready. So we'll see you then. Welcome back. It has been a work day. The tofu has been pressing and it is time for us to put this all together. So what we're gonna do for the tofu is we're gonna quickly preheat our oven to 425. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll take out the tofu to see where it's at right now. All right, so we have our tofu. It has been pressed and it is ready to be assembled. Ignore this. I have not done the dishes yet to leave me alone, but we'll get to it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut our tofu and season it. So first I'm gonna get everything ready to go. Cutting bowl. Let me get it. So. I'm getting all of our spices, olive oil. And then we're gonna bake our, so make sure you have something you can bake your tofu on. Quickly roll this down. How's everyone's day? So I hope you're excited to make some tofu. This is literally so easy. We now try to eat tofu at least once a week. I'm trying to reduce my animal product intake just from like an environmental standpoint. And also I really like animals. So trying to reduce how much, how much animal product I'm eating. All right, so we have this ready for our tofu. We're gonna take this out because this has our tofu in it. 
There is a little bit of liquid. I don't think you can see it from here. There's a little bit of liquid that came out with that last round of pressing. So this is quite firmly pressed tofu. Oh, it's too pressed that it's stuck. Oh my God. There we go. So what I like to do, I kind of like the tofu in bigger chunks. So I'm going to cut this in half. You can cut this however you like, whatever size you prefer of tofu. This is just what I like. So we're going to do pretty big chunks, maybe an inch by like half an inch depth wise. Then another inch by inch. I just like a lot more of the the mouth feel of tofu. So we have that and now we need to season it. To save yourself some dishes, we're gonna actually season our tofu and make our stir fry sauce in the same bowl because clearly dishes are not something we enjoy doing. Also, it saves you a dish. Can't be upset about that. I will be releasing a, a video on how to make the perfect stir fry sauce kind of and then how to make the perfect stir fry so definitely be sure to check those out we are done with this so we're gonna move it but right now we are just focusing on the crunchiest most perfect and delicious tofu so super easy i have all my tofu cubes in here we're gonna add olive oil onion powder garlic powder salt pepper and cornstarch Biggest things to know are the olive oil kind of helps everything like it almost has, acts as like the glue. Maybe maybe one to two tablespoons in there of that. And then I kind of just season based off of vibes. I try to limit the salt just because blood pressure and anxiety and whatnot. Then, oh my gosh, why am I missing the bowl? I need to relax. This is why I'm limiting my salt. We added some pepper. I'm a big pepper fan, so we're gonna add a lot. We're gonna add some onion powder. These are just kind of my basic go-to spices. You can't ever really go wrong with them. Garlic powder. Like I said, just we're seasoning based off of vibes, what you're feeling that day. And then I always do cornstarch because it kind of helps everything stick together a little bit. It also will work nicely with our stir fry sauce, which will help thicken it. Now we have our concoction. We're just gonna shake it and mix it. And just cause we wanna make sure everything is evenly coated, kind of gets stuck at the bottom a little bit. So you have to really put in some upper body work. A little bit messy, it can get a little crazy. Okay, good enough for me. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put it on our little baking sheet. Then I'm gonna make sure, we're gonna save this for our stir fry sauce because we are saving dishes here. So I'm just gonna spread it all out. Make sure everything's nicely even layered. And then this is our final product for the tofu. So. I'm gonna wait for it to hit 425 on the oven. We're gonna do 10 minutes and then flip each of them and then 10 minutes again. And that'll be perfect. All right, so we'll put her in and we're gonna wait. The oven just hit 425, so we're gonna put it in. We're gonna leave it in there for 10 minutes or so. All right, it has been 10 minutes. We're gonna flip each of the tofu pieces. This is also, I forgot to mention why this is so important to add olive oil so it doesn't like stick to the foil. I have had that happen where like then it all breaks and it's mess. So definitely, oh my gosh. <laughs> why was I sitting like that? I'm not well, let's, let's flip this. Okay, we're gonna go up here because it's releasing heat and I am not a billionaire with tons of money. Now 
now that all of this is flipped, we're gonna just throw it in for another 10 minutes and then it'll be done. So it has been 20 minutes. We're gonna take out our tofu. Look at it. Wait, I want a shot in here. Hold on. Wow. Look at her. She's beautiful. And now you have some delicious crispy tofu to add to your stir fry. And you'll just have to see the stir fry in my stir fry video. That will be coming out soon, so subscribe so you don't miss it. You can kind of season it however you like. This is just how I like to do it. And also look how big these pieces are. Like this brings me so much joy in life. I'm so excited to eat this. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know, like comment below if you try this recipe, like this video, subscribe so you don't miss any more of these delicious cooking videos and I'll catch you next week.